Laura Kunzberg. Laura Juliet Kunzberg is a British journalist. In July 2015, she was appointed as the political editor of BBC News, the first woman to hold the position in succession to Nick Robinson. Early life and education The daughter of Scottish businessman Nick Kunzberg, OBE, and his wife Sally Kunzberg, CBE. Kunzberg was born in Italy, while her father was working there for Coates Viella. She grew up in Glasgow, with her brother and sister, and attended Laurel Park School, a private girls' school. Kunzberg studied history at the University of Edinburgh, followed by a journalism course at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., where she worked on an NBC News political program. Her brother is a senior civil servant in the Department for Communities and Local Government. Her sister is a diplomat and was appointed as the British High Commissioner to Mozambique in 2014. Career After returning to Britain, she worked for local radio and then cable television in Glasgow, before joining BBC North East and Cumbria in March 2000. Kunzberg won a Regional Royal Television Society Award for her work as Home Affairs Correspondent, and produced segments for the Social Affairs Editor Niall Dixon. Appointed Chief Political Correspondent for BBC News, Kunzberg reported for BBC One Bulletins, Daily Politics and BBC News. In May 2010, her presence was so ubiquitous in the period between the general election and the formation of a coalition government under David Cameron, that journalist David Aronovich coined the term, Kunzbergovision. In September 2011, Kunzberg took up the newly created role of business editor for ITV News, and was replaced at BBC News by Norman Smith from BBC Radio 4. She also contributed towards business reporting on ITV's current affairs strand. Tonight, on 27 August 2013, she made her debut co-newscasting news at 10 with Alistair Stewart. On 12 November 2013, it was announced that she would leave ITV to return to the BBC as chief correspondent and a presenter of Newsnight, replacing Gavin Esler in the latter role. She joined the Newsnight team in February 2014. BBC Political Editor In July 2015, she was appointed as the BBC's political editor, the first woman to hold the position. In January 2016, Kunzberg was involved in arranging for the Labour MP Stephen Doughty to publicly announce his resignation as a shadow foreign office minister on daily politics. The incident was the subject of an official complaint from Seamus Milne, the Labour Party's director of communications, which was rejected by Robbie Gibb, the BBC's head of live political programmes. Following the 2016 local elections, a petition was started on 38 degrees which accused Kunzberg of being biased against the Labour Party and its leader Jeremy Corbyn, and called for her dismissal. The petition was later withdrawn by David Babs, executive director of 38 degrees, who cited concern that it had become a focal point for sexist and hateful abuse made towards Laura Kunzberg on other social media websites such as Twitter, although it was acknowledged that this represented the actions of a small minority. In January 2017 the BBC Trust ruled that a report in November 2015 by Kunzberg broke the broadcaster's impartiality and accuracy guidelines. A viewer had complained about her item which featured an interview with Jeremy Corbyn on the BBC News at six which was edited to give the incorrect impression that Corbyn disagreed with the use of firearms by police in incidents such as that month's terrorist attacks in Paris. His purported answer to a question as broadcast in the report was in fact his reply to a different question, not specifically about that terrorist attack. 
The BBC Trust said that the inaccuracy was compounded when Kunzberg went on to state that Corbyn's message couldn't be more different to that of the Prime Minister Theresa May, who was about to publish anti-terrorism proposals. The Trust said that accuracy was particularly important when dealing with a critical question at a time of extreme national concern. In Kunzberg's opinion, there are questions about the government's approach to Brexit. She wrote, of Theresa May government's negotiations with the European Union, there are no guarantees that the Prime Minister's aims are the right ones for the country, still less certainty that they can be achieved. Personal life Kunzberg is married to James Kelly, a management consultant who studied in Edinburgh and at Harvard. They live in East London. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.